two days, crazy hours, and over 50,000 attendees to this virtual event. Yes, I'm talking about the Red Hat Summit 2020. And in case you missed it, we've got you covered. Today, we'll be giving you a recap on the main updates that came out of the summit. To help me do this, we have our solutions architect, Zeb Cornell. Welcome, Zeb. And I know you're as excited as I am to be here. Thanks for having me. Let's start with the keynote. What was the key message for you? So the key message this year was, was Red Hat's um, commitment to open hybrid cloud. Uh, so taking their open source platform and making sure that it's available regardless of what underlying infrastructure is there. Um, so the key message around this this year was around that cloud native application development, having the same application being able to run on the same platform regardless of whether it's public cloud, private cloud or bare metal. So Zeb, what was your impression of the live demo? Oh, the live demo was amazing. Um, so this year, they basically had an application, which was a game, and everyone that was attending and watching the, the demo could actually go onto their phone, join this application and start playing this game. And they could play along while the live demo was happening. Um, so you could actually see real-time transactions coming in from people playing this game. And it showed you which, which servers they were connecting to, so that, so that OpenShift infrastructure was on each deployments all around the world, and based on your location, it was connecting that app to that OpenShift implementation. Uh, and that would all come back in real time to the screen so you could actually see on the actual demo what you, you were doing in the game. Um, and that was quite amazing. Another, another key piece that they, they kind of shown you with that was the ability to ma manage up to you know, 18 different OpenShift instances all through one central dashboard. Uh, and then what happens if a cluster gets taken offline and, and how the app would actually move from one cluster to another. So Zeb, firstly I've never seen anything like that live demo and I was really impressed as well. What about Red Hat's new product announcements? So Red Hat announced two new products this year. Uh, the first being the advanced cluster management for Kubernetes, which is a, a cloud-based interface where you can manage your OpenShift clusters all through one interface. Um, the other key piece of functionality that it offers is the ability to provision to public clouds very fast and very efficiently. It's quite amazing seeing 18 tabs of OpenShift open in the demo, but they're actually using one screen to be able to provision and, and completely create a new cluster from scratch. Um, so that was really exciting. Um, the another announcement that they made was that there's Windows support coming soon for OpenShift as well. And what about product updates? So yeah, Red Hat's announced the general availability of OpenShift version 4.4 um, and also Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.2. Thanks Zeb, that was really awesome. At a high level, we've covered what we believe are the key takeaways from Red Hat Summit. But there's a huge amount of content available on demand for you to consume. And consume it you should. We hope you got value out of the session and thank you for joining another Red Hat Roundup.